Why, yes, I did kind of set up right on the trail last night, but that's only because there's not really much of a trail here. I'm currently making my second cup of coffee and then I'm going to get going early again. Um, I need to conserve water since I don't know how far I'm going to make it. But now that I have six liters of hard cider um, that I'm carrying regularly, I figure even if I <laughs> don't make it to the next water source today, I should be okay. Yesterday was frustrating, uh, not so much due to the cold wind or the rough terrain, you know, that kind of uh, is what it is. It's more the outlook. I know I have bad weather coming, I don't know how bad it's going to be, etc., but I'm kind of um, concerned how things are going to go once Friday rolls around and the uh, precipitation comes back. I was hoping maybe I'd get far enough south that I'd outrun it, but I'm going to be in this range um, for a while. Generally, bad days are bad days, but I figure, you know, just get to the tent and tomorrow will be a better day, a different day at least, you know, different things go wrong. But uh, I tend to get down when there are multiple days ahead where things are looking bad. Um, my very first, uh, you know, long through hike on the PCT, I started May 4th. So I had, you know, 100 degree heat waves uh, in the desert section. And um, when you know that that's going to be your life for the next three or four days, that, that can be depressing. Here it is, mostly thermal issues. I mean, it is getting to be, you know, late November here and... Um, if it's raining, it gets a lot harder to stay warm. And uh, yeah, <laughs> if I'm having to hike in uh, heavy rain all day, it's one thing if you're in like AT temperatures where it's generally a little bit warmer. It's another if you're right above freezing. And uh, once it works into your layers, you know that that can cause a bigger issue. But hey, all you can do is one day at a time. 80 miles to Winston. Um, I got to waste the next water source, but I should be good there. I am about to uh, get going here. It looks like it's another seven miles of this kind of mixed terrain. Right here isn't too bad. However, back there, it was a lot of unstable rocks. That's why I stopped instead of pushing on. Despite the fact last night was actually fairly nice. There was no wind when the sun went down. And here's my lovely uh, tent site amid the uh, lava rocks and the cow poop. <laughs> At least on the map, there's an old road coming up to the saddle. You know, probably a dirt double track. I didn't see any sign of it last night, though. Best guess is this uh, cross-country section is going to be another seven or eight miles, which uh, will probably take a good chunk of the day. I have about 80 miles until uh, the route into Winston. There are other bailouts out here. Granted, you never know if those roads are going to have any traffic or anything like that. My first adjustment, probably tonight, I'll look at maybe splitting the uh, rice and beans into four instead of three, or I just end up not having a hot dinner, which I can do, but when you're in the tent and it's uh, 20 degrees, hot dinners are a big psychological boost. On the plus side, the tent was bone dry this morning. I guess I could uh, choose to interpret that as maybe I'm uh, getting into that drier climate, but I really think that I, <laughs> that's not until Silver City. The multi-day uh, storm was predicted for Reserve, and Reserve did seem to get less than Pie Town. But again, I'm uh, basically assuming I'm going to have rain. And while you might think that will help me with the uh, water sources, it takes a lot to actually recharge any of those. You see comments all the time. It's been raining for days. This source still has nothing. It makes things muddy. It makes the plants a pain to crawl through. And uh, yeah, you can gather it if you've got you know, a trash bag or a uh, rain fly, but that can uh, take quite a while if it's one of these desert storms where it's not exactly pouring. And figures. <laughs> I stopped where I was because I'd been through a really bad spot and uh, looks like it's gotten at least a little bit easier. Oh well.
at least so far since the uh, pink line junction, the trail has been, well, the route has been relatively well marked. There are uh, cairns built up here and there are a surprising number of those CDT emblems, though some of them have visibly melted because they're the old plastic ones and uh, this area partially burned. There has been sections of trail and then sections where I'm just kind of picking my way along. There's only been one really, really bad section, which was uh, last night. And it was getting dark, so it's quite possible if I'd been able to see a little further, I would have known, oh, hey, 200 feet over that way, that looks better. The route through the Gila is only 106 miles instead of 200 some. And uh, I guess it starts with a 30 mile road walk and then you get to the uh, pretty spot which is the river. Right now it, it should be on uh, in the bottom of that canyon off to my right. And there are roads where it uh, shows no roads and no roads where it shows roads. There have got to be more troughs and water sources out here. I just think nobody's looked for them. In retrospect, I probably should have spent some time going over this area with a uh, on the satellite shot with a fine tooth comb, see if I could identify any tanks worth uh, checking out that were relatively close to the trail. This was obviously planned and maintained at some point, but can't guess it gets a lot of attention in recent history just with it, with so few people doing it. Have come across the occasional comments, so there are people who uh, do take the harder route. Also a couple of variants. Uh, once I clear this ridge line in another three or four miles, you can actually cut uh, down to the pink line on Burson Road. When some northbounders mentioned doing that and then coming and doing the divide. And basically saying this section was uh, really slow and rough. This feels like I'm on a trail. This thing's gonna spoil me here. You know, you gotta look at the uh, bright side of those cross country sections. They really make you uh, appreciate any sort of improved trail. Oh well, nice while it lasted. of them. Oh wow, there's even more over to the right. Just a little too far away, but uh, there has to be 50 of them or more. There's the drags. Man, shame I spooked them. I've been taking my uh, snack break here in the hope somebody might come by, you know, somebody who had spare water, etc. cetera. Uh, the original water source I'm planning on, it's barely in reach for today, um, if that's even functioning. There is a tank over here, uh, over this next hillside, which some people said they got water at. Um, we'll see. Apparently it gets low and it's hard to access, so I'm not counting on it. Okay, moment of truth. I either walk out of here happy and sloshing or uh, I gotta make my three some liters last till tomorrow, it looks like. So this thing does have some water, which is tantalizingly close, but uh, there's no outflow. and The water's kind of low. Damn it, I really wanted water. Even if it does maybe have something floating in it. But, uh, I don't think I can get down that far. Oh well, this is frustrating. I think I'm gonna check one more thing. There is a uh, outflow valve on this thing pointed downhill. 
Uh, I might walk down that way and see if there's a trough or something. I got enough water to make it through another night. The next uh, maybe water source is in nine miles. But I'm also thirsty. It's been warmer than usual. Well, so much for that. No sign of any uh, troughs or anything in the direction of that uh, outflow pipe. And I couldn't hear any water coming out when I turned it anyway, so probably a no-go. If I was desperate, there is a uh, solar well a mile and change away back on the Gila route, but I've still got two and a half, about three and a half liters. I could just always use more to drink. Next water source, that's the one I was counting on. That's at a cabin that is on the other side of a big climb up ahead and about nine miles away. I'm uh, a little reluctant to make any assumptions about making that. It's only 120 or so, but it, it has been not very fast at times. And there's no telling if uh, it'd be conducive to hiking at night. Plus, there's no guarantee that source is running. Like I said, it is a cabin with a spigot. Some people found it on, some people found it off. Others said there were pools around. Otherwise, it's another uh, five miles past that to the higher confidence source. Due to how I like to hydrate, drinking a liter or a liter and a half at once, I think I struggle more than a lot of people in extended periods like this with uh, limited water. I still have 2.5 untouched for tonight. The uh, other 2.5 I had for today is uh, starting to run low. The water cache is still 10 miles, so I'll make that probably tomorrow because uh, big uphill between there and there. There are two maybe sources, one of which is some pools and two miles, which I would be surprised, but who knows? There was a tiny seep yesterday that did have a little puddle or two. And then uh, there's some cabin up here, which sometimes has a spigot. Nobody's commented this time of year though. Seems like most of the time people coming through here are uh, doing it northbound in spring. And that does make sense since if they were trying to do the San Juans, they need to kill time. And once again, the maybe source was uh, dry. Basically uh, cow trodden damp sand in the stream bed. So uh, in another 3.5 or so is the cabin water source. Last couple of things in spring didn't mention that the uh, pump was on. And I kind of feel like people are winterizing. <laughs> uh, there are some ponds, so possible I can fill up there. I am kind of running out of daylight here, though. And uh, that's on the other side of a big climb. If I don't find any additional water, I'm not going to cook the beans tonight. Since that takes a chunk of a liter, just hold off. <laughs> I might need it anyway if I don't make it to Winston in time. I am doing my best to get up and over this tonight. Damn it. Came all the way down here. Try and use the spigot, but looks like it's not working. Well, unfortunately, that was a gamble that uh, didn't pay off. I was just so hopeful for having enough water to basically gorge myself. Pump didn't work, and these ponds look bad enough. I wouldn't use them except in an emergency. And I came 300 feet down off a ridge to check this. Should have just kept going. There's supposed to be a water cache for some miles on, but I've been chafing pretty bad, so I went for the closer source. Gambled and lost. 
Okay, seven o'clock. Found something that'll work. I'm not gonna do dinner. The rice and beans that I do is uh, salty and uh, will make me thirsty and I'd rather have the water to get through the night. So in a lot of ways, that was actually a better day. Better terrain, um, nicer terrain. My water sources are uh, not working out. Um, every maybe source I had today uh, wasn't collectible for one reason or another. The last one just killed me because I was down there in the dark working this pump handle and I got it to gush water. Shut it off really quick, went to get everything um, to collect it and I could never get another drop out of that thing. There were two uh, cow ponds down there that were just, you know, foul emergency only sort of things. There should be a cache just uh, four miles down the trail. And honestly, even though it's seven something, <clears throat> I probably would have just gone that rather than uh, descended down and tried that uh, pump. Other than I just ended up having some bad chafing at the end of the day. And um, I don't want to go much further. So I'm not completely out of water. I do have uh, around two liters, which is enough for tonight. But considering how thirsty I've been, I'm not going to uh, waste any. The rice and beans is a great dinner, but uh, tends to be salty. And um, so that'll use half a liter and then I'll easily drink another liter just getting that down. So I'm just going to snack and uh, uh, in the morning go down to the cache, drink a whole heck of a lot. Um, then I think there's a well after like five or six miles and then it's another 28 mile carry. Fun times, but hey, home sweet home.